Welcome to the Crystal Collector. Today we're in Montana at the Jim Mountain Sapphire Mine. This is Matrix and I'm Brian and today we're going to be digging some world-class sapphires and right behind me everyone is having a good time already. I hear it's a really cool place. Let's see what we can find boy. So first we've got to go pay. There's a few different options you can do here. Today at this time it's 40 bucks per bucket or you can do the Super 7s deal where you buy six buckets and you get the seventh for free. Y'all know me, seven's my favorite number. So we got to do the lucky seven. Let's get it. All right, let's just go up here and pay. They had a cool little shop here. There it is, we got seven buckets to go through. Let's get her done. So what you wanna do is you go over here, y'all, to the check-in site with your tickets. And you don't get all seven buckets at once. You're gonna do one at a time, and they're gonna show you the proper way of doing all this stuff. I'll go through that with you as well right now, and let's see what we can find. So they've got this really great setup here, y'all. So we've got our bucket. Let's see what we can find. So they've got tweezers that you can use. They give you a little container for your sapphires. They've got screens. You don't need anything. Just show up and it's ready to dig. So let's get it going. You don't want to put too much dirt in your screen. All right, let's go wash it off. All right, so what you want to do here is just get your dirt a little bit wet at first. Kind of get some of the loose dirt and stuff like that off of it. And there is a method here for what you do. Is you go back and forth so you make a line. Then you turn it and you do that again. and you turn it and you do it again. Now what that does is these sapphires are a bit heavier than all the other rock and it will place it right in the center. And then here in a second, you're gonna see me flip it and they'll be right on the top, if we did it right. All right, let's go do the flip. All right, let's see if I even did this right. I'm a little off center, but there are sapphires in our first screen. I see them right there. Check them out right there. This is nuts. That's a pretty good size one. Look right there. I can see why they give you the tweezers to use. Check it out. Here, let's just set them all right here. This is pretty wild. Look at that. Already four. And you just plop it right in there. That's perfect container. And they're right. They did really go right to the center. Is that one maybe? And I'm assuming you want to spread things out and check out your screen at least one time before dumping it off on the ground but if you did it right they should all be right there Ooh, i see them all right y'all you see it there's one there look at that what Ooh, that one's got good color. It's kind of like a green. You know, it's really wild how they truly do go right to the center. Pretty easy. Like I say, I would still double check. But look at that. All three of those were right there. So that method does work really well. Oh. There's one. It is in the center. It's a little deeper. Oh, 
So I'm just going to spread this out with my hand. And we'll make sure I didn't miss any. And I don't see them. This is a pretty quick and easy process here. Look at that. Four out of one screen. Great color. Look at that. We ain't even went through but a couple of screens. We're already filling up this container. You can see why people are packing out this place. And it's just a Wednesday. Check it out, an actual pink sapphire Zach found here. That is epic. So you can find some really rare gems at this location. And another one. Oh. All right, look at this. I see one, two, three, four, five, right off the rip. Look at this one. Oh, I can't get it. What? Check it out. All right, y'all, look at this. We've got the rare pink sapphire right here in the screen. What? Here we go, my very last bucket, lucky number seven. We got lucky number seven here. All right. Last one of the day. All right. All right, lucky seven. I'm just gonna go blind. All right, I'm just gonna here grab it. Go. Whichever one I touch. That's it. Oh, All that's right, y'all. This has a 20 carat sapphire in it. <laughs> They've got a nice little chart here that will show you all the different sizes when they get a big one. And look at this. Just a few days ago, a 12 and a half carat. Golly, 10, almost 11. Look at this. Threes and fours all day long. Woo, number seven. Lucky seven. And look at there. Sapphires right in the center. So it does work, boy. Look at that. You can see it put them right in the center. I see four right off the rip. Look at that. There's one. Here is the second one. And look at these two. Wow. Let's see if I can pick them both up at the same time. No, not going to be able to do it, but look at this. Golly. Look at that. I can see the sapphires through the screen. All right, I don't know if you can see that, but look at this. As I lift it up, oh, there's a couple. There's one, two, three, four, five, and there could be more beneath it. Like I say, spread out your, your outside first, and you really wanna check out the center. Oh, there's two right there. This has got like seven or eight. <laughs> oh, oh, look at that right there. That's a large one. Oh, yeah. Check that out. Look at those sapphires. That's from today. 
all seven buckets. What? Let's take our sapphires in and get them evaluated. They got a pretty cool shop. I haven't even been in it yet. I was so ready to dig these sapphires. Let's go check it out. All right, we're inside the shop and it's time to evaluate these sapphires. You think we got some good ones, boy? And check it out. You get a big enough sapphire, you're gonna get a Polaroid picture on the wall. <laughs> what? Really nice shop they got going on here. It's pretty crowded right now because everyone did well today and wants to find out their evaluations on their gemstones. <laughs> 22, 23, 24 cuttable stones. And these, if they have flaws, are going to get you a four. Probably get you a small oval. Probably a pear since it's already that shape. Four millimeter. All these will be in the three, and then these ones are going to be in the 2.5. See, so, what did you say? 23, 22, something like that? Yeah. 24, I'll 20, take oh, 24 it. 24 with the two, yeah. Okay. Yeah, with the two flaws. With the two flaws. But the flaws are on the outside, and they'll be bigger so than these. So that many could be cut flaws. Yeah. Wow. They come back. They be heat treated to saturate them with color. You don't know what color they'll turn. Oh, they can oh, really? turn any color. Oh, that can turn bright orange. That's fun. You don't know. Okay. Manganese makes them orange. If it has enough manganese in okay. it, it's going to turn orange. Most of them, because you see them, they're green. They have lots of titanium and iron. That's what makes them green. So, and the colors on the outside. The best one with color saturation is the pink one. This yellow one has good saturation. Right. Pick these ones up for you. Got 22 here. All right. So Brian has very well explained to me all kinds of stuff about these sapphires, about why they form the colors and how they have uh, the change in colors from doing the heat treatments. And we're going to talk more about that here in just a second. But, you know, this is such a great place. They evaluate your stones at the end of the day for free. I mean, how crazy is that? All right, well, look at this. I got a nice bag here. <laughs> Those are heat just treated. Messing. Those are heat treated, too. Check that out, y'all. These are huge stones, heat treated. Oh yeah. Put it down the table. Okay. Oh yeah. That's the chromium in there. Yeah. It's absorbing the. Thank you for everybody's patience. So even that one right there, that really bright, that's still fifty percent, less than seventy-five percent though. Yeah. Say. Okay. Okay. Yeah, they're just pink. Well, there you go. They got your restrooms right there. They got picnic tables. I'll tell you what, this place is a 10 of 10. They've got everything just as good as it could be. The staff is excellent. Like seriously, y'all, they are so knowledgeable. They teach you what to do. They're just super friendly. And I mean, this place is a must visit, y'all. Check them out. If you're interested in some of my finds, check out the eBay page. Just Google search Ultra Rocks eBay and it'll take you right to it.